So Tani Machta is just the most amazing lady. On a Wednesday morning, she rents a hall out of her own money and she allows the women, the moms and the babies to come there because the hall has got shower facilities. So the moms get to shower and she baths the babies. Now, we all think, okay, Tani Machta is doing this because she's concerned about hygiene. Yes, she's concerned about hygiene because if you think about it, the babies only would get bathed once a week. But Auntie Machta baths the babies so she can see whether they've been abused and she can then report that onto the police. She finishes there on a Wednesday morning. From two o'clock in the afternoon, she's chopping vegetables. I've never seen so many vegetables in my life. All of those veggies go into three massive pots that she cooks from half past five the next morning. She cooks that soup until she starts the serving from two o'clock Thursday afternoon. I mean, in the two days that we spent with um, Auntie Machta, I, I've lost count as to the number of areas that we went to where the poorest of the poor can be found. You can see that there's a lot of illness, there's a lot of drugs, um, there's a lot of um, drinking alcohol, uh, fetal alcohol syndrome, um, but the, the faces, the, the kids light up when they see Auntie Machta coming around the corner with her bucky because you know that in the back of that bucky is a massive pot of soup with anything and everything else that she's managed to collect. Now at the back of Auntie Machta's house there was this half-finished building. It was really just the outside structure, the walls and nothing else because she can't actually afford to finish the building because everything that she makes goes back into her soup kitchen. So as I said, there's this tiny little kitchen where three or four aunties are trying to make soup and fit cook and they're bumping into each other because there's no space for them to move. So Auntie Magda really just wanted her dream kitchen. And the team from Endestein van der Merwe, um, the Legal Eagles who are part of Ask Drive, um, they just came on board in such an unbelievable way. They've got clients who are in the construction industry and they went to their clients and they said we've got to help this auntie and they committed a three-month plan to finish the, the outside building behind her house so she can have a dream kitchen. That is amazing. <laughs> van die mensen dat om die tafel was om die bouwwerk hier te doen. Die constructiewerk zal klaargemaakt worden, die, die doodgieterswerk, die elektriciënswerk, daar zal kracht wees, daar zal water wees, daar zal een combinatie wees en daar zal een paar kasten wees. Ik is aan die machta en ik heb de sop kom wees en ik wil vir allemaal sê wat vir my bid, wat vir my gee, wat net samen met mij ideal, wat samen met mij werk, elk in wat zochtens opstaan en voor om iets te komen doen. Allemaal net, allemaal wat die help en alles is ook hoe klein, alles is ook die beesten wat die vat is. Baie, baie, baie dankie.